The man, the myth, the legend, take two. I'm having to drink some water because I just finished recording my intro and outro, and for some reason, it didn't save on my computer. Here's to you guys. <laughs> guys, welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk for our hunt video this time at Needless Toys and Collectibles right there in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Yes, we decided to go up to the Charlotte area last weekend and I just like always didn't disappoint. It was another great time there. We also had a um, a meetup with our buddy Zach Jack Dan. You know, we haven't seen Zach Jack Dan in, I don't know, I think he said a year. I was like, no way that's been that long. We saw each other, you know, on um on a one or two lives since then and then of course we you know we we message each other here and there but man things have been so busy i can't believe it's already been you know over a year without any more babbling let's go ahead and check out needless quick pan of the new needless toys and collectibles still here in lincolnton too by the way just a bigger location to spread out nothing but the goodness <laughs> Usual Mike, if you ever make it to the East Coast, it's a little bit from Atlanta if you were to go to Toylanta or even like Joe Fest, but here in Lincolnton we have Needless Toys and Collectibles. And with you being a big G.I. Joe and Star Wars guy, this is one of your spots. No, not here. This oh, oh, oh. I have Civil Man that called the Old Spark. Okay, that's a question. Even new Transformers, guys. Vintage Transformers, Vintage Joes. Cobra Mamba. I'd like to see a Cobra Mamba in Classified. Or even the Condor. Even the Night Raven. Or how about a Command Center? Just like that one right there. Vintage Turtles. Look at this, Dan. This Turtle Mobile right here. Mm -hmm. In box. In box. That's Oleg? I'm sure he would love it. <laughs> Yeah, this two right here. In box playset. So with the new location, you could see the spread a little bit better. A lot more room to walk, a lot more room to observe and see and pick your poison. Well, we got some pops over here. Let's go ahead and start over here in the wrestling. Ultimates, Jack specific. Some, some sets, some elites, and some basics. Is that is that you right there? Some rocky stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm. Did you see? Uh, where's it at? Did he sell Thunderlips? Oh, he sold Thunderlips. It's Tyson right there. <laughs> you ever you ever see that? It's Mike Tyson. Look at this. Clubber Lane. 80 beans. Is that your favorite one? Rocky 3? Is it because of Clubber Lane, Mr. T? No. Uh -huh. Kinda. There's a real Iron Sheik right there. Got the rock. So, yeah. Wrestling. Everything from the elites, legends, even some Jack specific, and Lucy's. Oh, this is the snake invasion. The one that I skipped on. Try, I, I got it. I mean, because of room, I got to keep it more mainline. I do got some snake man, but, you know, I, I couldn't. I could. Like, are you going to go into creation with that new one they're going to do now, too? With the uh, oh, Slytherus? Oh, you know, because there was like a fan vote. Oh, um, probably not. It's really Some Motu, all the Motu you ever dreamed of. So I've never seen Clamp Champ in Masterverse size before. 
So, again, guys, Tracy over here at Needless and the guys, contact them if you can't get out here. They'll work out. They'll work out something with you for you. Now, this Skeletor, no, that's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the new Eternia Skeletor. So, one day, but I don't even, I don't know. We'll see. And here is uh, Stratos. I think this is the first time we're seeing Stratos. I'm pretty sure. Some more Masters of the Universe. And then, of course, some more Masterverse down there. We don't see him too often. Come to the back of the room, I'm sure. Tracy and the guys have a lot, you know, plans over here, but you can see a little bit back of the store. Right over there. Star Wars Vintage Collection, Black Series. New, some vintage. That's a set that we need. We were unable to grab. Probably grab it today since it's here. You know, support your local toy and collectible stores, guys. If it's there, why? Why pay the aftermarket somewhere else? Some more Transformers. Let's go look at some of these ma masterpiece. Look at that. So Thrust, Ramjet, Thundercracker. G.I. Joe, 25th anniversary G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe classified Mutt and Junkyard. We got all our classified. They still got some troopers. Cobra officer, if you're still looking at army build, see if there's anything that we haven't seen yet out in stores. Well, it looks like it, but of course, you know, the newest one, Tracy always gets a lot of new inventory, sometimes before the big box does. Hot Wheels, a lot of your die cast. We got our Big Turtles, recent re-release of Big Turtles. Godzilla, Super Sever Reaction Godzillas. Oh, Maximilian, I need that. I think, I think, oh yeah, here we go. Some of the more recent releases, General Hawk. There's our Nunchuck. Nunchuck Berducci's. Got some McFarlane. Ooh, Platinum Edition Sinestro. It's very cool. And then Indiana Jones. Very cool looking. Loose McFarlane. Excuse me. Loose DC. And then we're getting into the Marvel Legends. And when I started collecting Marvel Legends, I got a lot of my onesies and twosie pieces from these guys here. Because, well, if you guys could tell, they had it. This is one I'm really wanting to get is the MCU Vision. But I don't need Wanda. So hopefully they'll re-release it. <laughs> this Venom is a great Venom. Some new Legends with windows it's the new black Panther. no that's no that's the old black panther we have down here some mezco some tekken golden axe oh yeah it's the good stuff where did i see that there it is Destro, got some Moffex, Ken the Eagle, my first time seeing this. Wow, very cool looking. And then of course there's our Luke Kang with Dragon. Some Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Boss fight. I have first time seeing this. Very 
So from Beast Kingdom, here's the Flash Batman. It's kind of hard to see in there. So, well, we have the 89 Batman. I don't know if we're going to go ahead and get that one. We're good to go. What is this? The whole new room, room for one six scaling up. That's dramatic. No way. Yeah, this is. I got Super Sevens coming in next week. Brand new. They're. Uh, oh, you don't know what it is yet. Four fifty. It's only four fifty for a Godzilla. All right, guys. Well, I, I neglected the, the pop wall. <laughs> we're not racing through pops, but we're racing through pops. They're all here. Yes. If you need it, these guys got it. But we didn't just come here for My Little Pony and Lego. Hey, Marcia. Hey, did you see your Super 7 Godzilla? Oh. One's glow in the dark and one's just making. Okay, the glow in the dark. Shogun. Yeah, Shogun. And the regular. Oh my gosh. Anime, Anime, are you my dad, do? <laughs> wacko. Yeah. You're a wacko. And here's the Destroyer. Godzilla versus Destroyer. I wish we could see it. Oh, look, Star Trek Generation. I didn't know they did that. Look at this one. Thundercats, oh, some more NECA. It's not, uh... Animaniacs. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I, uh, I think I saw that in the stores one time. Nosferatu, looking very cool. Oh, there's the destroyer. Destroy all. See if we can get that in there. I saw him at Retro. Yeah. Oh, Metal Luna Mutant, babe. I saw that coming out too. Oh my gosh. Oh, here you go. Shout out to Archer. Little motorhead, little lemmy. Well, nothing's changed, guys. Needless toys and collectibles, Super 7 Ultimates, Super 7 Reaction, Lego, Pops, NECA. Here you go. Archer, some Predators. We should have got this when they had it at Target. If we see it, we're getting it again. Oh, the road. These are the new ones. Mm hmm. Kari, Kari, Raph, and the patrol bot. Oh, and then some more of the Eastman and Laird. This is the first time we saw these. You said you liked the what? The Shredder clones. Yep, the clones. Oh, another Godzilla. Oh, it was the Vampirilla. Vampirella, Vampirilla, Vampirella. She needs to put some clothes on. It's a PG show. How you do it? South Trown Street, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hanging out with the fam. Great shopping. Great stores. Went to Ikea right before dinner. It's about 6 o'clock. 6.10. 18.10 for your military type. We're getting ready to go get some ramen over at Fuda Buddha. And uh, enjoy the rest of the night. If we got time, which hopefully we do, we hit up the mall. They got a Lego store in there. Apple, get it. So let's, uh, let's go see what else Charlotte has for us. 28 degrees. Am I right guys? As soon as you come in, the loose transformers, you got the display cases and a wall of vintage G.I. Joe is like the vehicles, the boxes of the vehicles. That's just really, you know, the, the, um, it just catches you. You know what I'm saying? It just hooks you. And then off to the side, you got the flag. 
it's just truly amazing. Wall of Wrestling, Wall of Motu, around the corner you got all the Star Wars, TVC, Retro, Kenner, and then of course you got uh, Black Series, and then you know you got some Marvel Legends, the huge selection of Marvel Legends, um, McFarlane, you know, DC, um, Indiana Jones, it's just uh, Lego, and then I, I almost forgot there toward the end, he has, uh, you know, NECA and Super 7, I almost forgot to film that one aisle because I was just so much... You know, everything just kind of captured me as soon as I walked in. But you got your Super 7 Ultimates, you got your NECA, and then you got a wall of Funko. So if you don't collect Funko, that's okay, because there's a lot of people who are, who watch the channel that do. Funko Pop for you, Funko Pop for your, your you know, your family, for your kids. And that's where my kids, you know, they, they, liked, they liked Funko Pop, and they were pretty much there the whole time, uh, just looking for some great deals, which Tracy does have. Up toward the front, you got, you know, the register, the display cases up front, but a wall of hot toys. Before we get to the pickups from Needless, I want to actually go ahead and highlight a few of the pickups that we got before we got to Needless Toys and Collectibles. I'm wearing this shirt for a reason because yes, Mars Attacks is one of my favorite movies and at Gaston Pickers, they actually had this sitting on a coffee table. I was like, what is that? Uh, and it was like a couple bucks. I was like, yeah, we're, we're, we're down for that. It is a sealed VHS tape of Mars Attacks. I don't go purposely looking for physical media, but I already have a whole closet full of original physical media, but Mars Attacks, you guys get it. It's my jam. So it, it just called to me. And the first time that we went to Gaston Pickers where really Marsha didn't pick up anything, but I did. Not only did I pick up that, I picked up a Johnny Lightning little die cast vehicle from the lost in space what am i going to do with that well easy take it off card even though it's a great card and it looks good i'm going to take it off card and kind of put it in uh, another easter egg in one of my dios i might actually have galactus kind of like hold it i think that'd be kind of cool so that was it from gaston pickers after that before we went to needless we stopped at red uh red genesis to go see our buddy red now of course if you haven't seen the video i already did the red genesis video so just go ahead and click click it up there if you haven't watched it yet great store like always and you know when we're there we always pick up something so we did pick up <laughs> and you guys saw it there some mars attacks action figures well we just picked up this one right here the martian ambassador i kind of held off on the spider and the other the other martians um for now um if we go up i'll probably pick up another couple but i just had to grab this guy he was just kind of act acting me he said come pick me up and what's crazy is i found another lost in space this time at reds and this is the robot, what, B9? Yep. Robot B9 from Lost in Space. This card's a little dinged up, but it's okay because he's coming off card to go hang out and be an Easter egg in the Dio somewhere over there. Fast forwarding after lunch, we went to Needless Toys and Collectibles, and I know that I am done with Star Wars, guys, kind of, but I am not done with collecting the retro collection. I tried to get this online numerous times, and I just failed because it was always sold out usually i'm pretty good i'm quick with it i don't have a bot but i'm usually quick with it and uh i lost out on hasbro pulse twice and tracy and the guys had it right there at needless so here we go and i couldn't wait and i already started to bust them out why do i collect a lot of the retro why not um i want kenner but at the same time and I'm, I'm good you know minty fresh out the plastic off the card and if you guys notice a lot of my poses with some of my characters, I like wave. It's it's the thing. I don't know. They all like to wave. They're right here saying, hey, it's a trap. We got Wicket. Leave it in the comments, guys. Do, do you guys collect this and do you mix it in with your Kenner? Because here, here here's what I'm getting at is, you know, we could pick up uh, Emperor's Guard, Kenner, but then of course you have to worry about the fading. You have to worry about the, um, you know, his uh, his cape and all that stuff. If, if he's gonna come with his weapon and then, you know, fresh out the box, um, you know, he's got good, good feet. He's tight, the joints are tight. Just, it's hard, it's hard to say no. Here's another great example. We got the Gamorrean Guard. I have two of them already. Actual Kenner that we picked up at Toy Meister uh, about a year and a half ago. And you know, they were older and you got, you had to worry about a little bit of that grime on it. Meaning it's just older plastic, fresh out, the, you know fresh off the card and they look great um not everything is going to be new star wars retro for my setups so of course i still want to collect a lot of the kenner but it's got to be right it's got to be right yep took them off card there's wicket the emperor or the emperor's guard emerald akbar and the gamorian guard now over to my right they do come unpunched 
So I kind of just was curious to see what she was going for on eBay. Uh, Mon Mothma is going for like almost 50 bucks. And same thing with this guy right here, Yak Face. And again, guys, I'm I'm not trying to be that guy, but it's like I'm gonna savor the moment, leave it on card just for a little bit. I don't know. I know, let him breathe. You know, what are you gonna do? I'm not reselling them, but you know, they're they're looking pretty good. So we're gonna savor the moment, leave them on card for a little bit, and uh, put these guys in the display somewhere. Let them play while the other two just sit in their plastic, like they're you know in their plastic prison, as Kyle would say. Two more things we picked up from needless toys and collectibles and guys if you didn't know tracy is an authorized four horsemen retailer so if you're looking for something specific whether it's uh mythic legions or cosmic hit him up he's just he's just he's just bad his name is cragnar but i'm gonna call him like special k like you know the break dancer from uh <laughs> from uh breaking and yeah i'm a big guy i like to collect beefy plastic and we got this guy right here slog he's a slog high warden slog i'm just gonna call him jerry jerry the slog he looks like a jerry now out of out of this wave the other ones look great i can't go all in on cosmic but um these guys will look have a you know they'll have a presence on the shelf i mean they have a presence just in the box you know holding them listen yeah you heard that yeah it's not an earthquake it's not an earthquake so I think guys, that's it for, yeah, I'm looking around. That's it for our pickups there in the Charlotte area. Great stores, great people, great retail, great food, great everything. That's why we go up there guys. And I'm not trying to, you know, be the next public spokesperson for Charlotte, but you hear it, you know, time and time again, go to Charlotte, go to Charlotte, go to Charlotte. We had a great time. It was definitely great running into our buddy, Zach, Jack, Dan, buddy, good seeing you. You said it was like about a year or more since I've seen you. I, it seems like, you know, yesterday that I saw you actually, you know what? Here's another picture of Marsha standing next to the Mezco Godzilla. Leave it in the comments. What is she trying to tell me? What is she trying to tell you? What is she trying to tell the world with that posture? Seriously, what's up with that? <laughs> I did not come home with the Godzilla as much as I wanted to. I probably would have uh, let them drive home. I would have said, take the Godzilla home and I'll Uber back or I'll walk back because that's how much I wanted it. At the end of the night, we had to get something to eat before we go. And where would we go? We go to Fuda Buddha right there off South Tron Street. You guys got to try it the best. It was packed. It was cold outside. It was, but you know, everybody was lined up to get some great food. It's a, it's a very, very small restaurant, but definitely worth it that was it for our weekend thank you guys for coming along with us it's always fun when we do that stuff and you know we're always going to go back there so leave it in the comments charlotte you know what what are we missing is there anything that you know you like to do when you're in the charlotte area you guys are just truly amazing for all the support that we're getting starting off 2024 the right way yeah I'm looking one more time. That's it. Hopefully this, this is take two. Hopefully that this, I'm looking at the computer now. Hopefully this stays and just doesn't dump on me. Cause if it does, I'm, I might just have to live everything. So enough of my issues. You guys have a great rest of the week. Thanks for all the support. Always enjoy the ride. You guys take care of yourself. Peace. And let's see if it saves. Oh yeah. Holy moly. God.